Hey folks, name's Game. How you guys doing? You doing okay? Beating the summer heat? Yeah? No? Well, either way, I hope you guys are doing okay. I, on the other hand, I'm kind of dying over here. It's very unbearable, the heat. It's not a fun thing to experience at any point in anybody's life when it's just the summer heat and you're in like a really hot room and you don't have like that really nice air conditioner set up or you're not able to use a fan because I'm going to give you an idea of what's going to happen all right if I put on the fan okay so I'm going to just put on low all right I don't know if you guys can hear that it looks like I'm just I'm looking at the audacity it looks a little bit like garbage what happens if I turn it off oh it looks a little bit normal now you get so I actually don't want to leave it on because this is going to sound like garbage if I leave it on and that little like five or so seconds of the fan being on is going to sound like utter trash so I'm kind of roasting a little bit and I really want to use this like nice side computer fan but I don't want it to be on because it's going to sound like garbage to you guys and I don't want to make you deal with that so anyway um, what is the point of this video there's actually a couple of points to this video and we're gonna start off with the day this is getting uploaded which is May 31st 2016 I'm turning 21 the day this is uploaded whoop the freaking do you know so yeah that's my birthday May 31st I'm turning 21 I was born in 1995 who goddamn cares that's when Earthbound came out funny that I really like Earthbound. I like games like Earthbound. It's really interesting how much your birth year can actually affect the games you really like. Because there's a lot of really good RPGs that came out in 1995. And additionally, I'ma actually look it up. I'ma actually look up the impact of 1995. And I'ma give you guys a few fun little facts about that year. So, um... The first Electronic Entertainment Expo was held. You guys don't know what that is? That's E3. The first... It was... It, it's crazy that. The first E3 was held the year I was born. And... November that year... Frickin' Nintendo 64 was unveiled. I love Nintendo 64. A lot of good games came out on it. It's crazy how life works, you know? But anyway, um... Let's get off that touchy subject of my birthday, because I've been talking for nearly three minutes now, and I'm still on that. There's still so many things that I want to talk about. Specifically, um, stuff that is in production, and or was in production for this YouTube channel. Um, some Twitch stuff. My voice cracked a little bit there. Sorry. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Twitch stuff, and then I'm going to talk about games that are coming out or have been out, blah blah blah, I, I just want to talk about games. I have been playing games since I was three or four years old, they're a pretty big deal to me. So let's just start with YouTube. I have two things, yes two, two individual things that I want to talk about really quick before I go into that like small videos of content. One, I said a while back that I'm not going to do series, I'm going to kind of iterate on that and explain a little bit more. Stuff like, okay, you know, Secrets of Grunday episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or Fallout 67 episode 25, 26, 27, 28, you know, episode, episodic stuff, you know, where, I re which is what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore, and I, and that's kind of what I mean. I'm not doing that anymore, because it's not fun to me, honestly. It's really not. I don't think a lot of people here kind of understood what I meant when I said I really don't want to do, like, Let's Plays anymore because I didn't really explain it very well. I just don't want to do that. If anything, I'm going to just record games randomly and just go with it. You know, that that's basically it. If I find a bug, then I'll, for, I'll try to goddamn frickin' stop every single motion in that game and take screenshots t take freaking recordings and stuff like that and I'll, I'll just show you guys the bug the random bugs that I find which are 
which people have probably already found God only knows how many times, but I just found bugs to be very interesting, you know? But stuff like highlights is kind of what I will do, but not that much, all right? I really do not want to keep consistently going, all right, here's, you know, content 779 or highlight 257 of game X, because I don't want to do that. It's not fun to me. So, that gives you an idea. Anyway, I've rambled a little bit there. But um, the second thing that I want to explain is, at some point, I will attempt to do a game review. Because... I really like games, alright? I might not be the most in-depth about them, but I really like explaining games to people. I really want to get people invested in the games, because... Games, to me, are really a big deal. Even now, they're a big deal. They're very important to me as a person. And if it wasn't for games, I don't even know where I'd be. Maybe I'd be a lawyer in suits, which I hate goddamn wearing. Maybe I'd be a journalist. Maybe I'd be an actor. That's a really funny joke. I'll save that for later. But, um, that's just how it is. You know, that's just how games have affected me, and games are a big deal, you know, you go on YouTube a lot of the time, and you probably listen to music like I do sometimes, I really like Electro Swing, I listen to it every so often, when I'm doing stuff, but, um, sometimes you'll go watch a Let's Play, and that's what a lot of this channel was, but, um, from now on, I really just kind of want to, I want to keep games near me, but I don't want to say, do playthroughs and Let's Plays, because sometimes, you just don't want to deal with hours upon hours upon hours of editing and dealing with like strict deadlines and constantly wanting to make content because that's kind of what YouTube is at this point. You need to do constant content or else you're gonna like behind a good bit. Alright, some people will probably go out and say, no, you can only do like, you could do like two, three videos at a time. I, I really can't see someone like me doing that. Like, two to three good videos, because I'm not that great with editing. Alright, I'm really not. I'm not an expert. Alright, the amount of editing that I have done is make sure the audio of me lines up with the audio of the game. Okay? That, I would say, is at the most a lot of the editing that I do. But even then, it's still a royal pain and blah, 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 and I'm getting really off topic here, and I'm sorry, but, yeah. So anyway, um, I was talking about, <laughs> uh, the heat makes me ramble, I'm sorry, but I was talking about content that I was going to put up. Content is kind of important, is it not? I was talking about that earlier. Anyway, the first thing is a bug in a game called Duck Game. Uh, to those who don't know what it is, it's a multiplayer last person standing wins kind of thing where you play as a duck, you shoot guns, swing swords, blah blah blah. It's a lot of fun. And I got to play it during the free weekend. My friends and I found a really weird bug and I want to put that up. Alright, I want to put that goddamn thing up. The problem is, I don't know the kind of music I want to put to it because I do want to put music to it. And I have a good reason for it. Um, I wasn't recording my voice, I was just recording the game. But when I record games, if my friends are talking or whatever, or if my computer makes any kind of sound, that's going to obviously get recorded too in most cases. So, yeah. Um, obviously, and it was only like 30 seconds or so of me recording the damn thing. So, there's not like any sort of conversation. There's no real sort of... It's just like random blog. Is that even a word, blog? Well, there's a blog. But I mean, like, B-L-A-H-G or something like that. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But, basically, I want to put it up. I'm still trying to figure out music to it. I probably have an idea of what I'm going to put to it. And so on and so forth. But, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll just put up the thing muted and figure out music later. And just put that as, like, a separate video going. Here's the one with music! It's the exact same thing, but there's music accompanying it. It doesn't matter. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I have no idea. So, there's that. And the second thing is, um, to those who have seen the more recent, 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 recent videos in relation to this one, 
okay, and like to do the two videos that were in like February and March or April, like the Secrets of Grindea and Binding of Isaac stuff. And at Secrets of Grindea stuff, I played with my friend Llama, and um, you can kind of get an, uh, an idea of what his personality is, blah blah blah, you get the idea. Anyway, he's been streaming, anyway, he's been on streams here, there, and everywhere, and I did a recording recently of about an hour of us just playing Rocket League, and to those who don't know what that is, it's basically soccer with cars, it's a lot of fun, uh, but you also have the options to do hockey with cars, or basketball with cars, and we played that for about an hour, uh, actually no, not even an hour, maybe like 30 minutes of that. And 30 minutes of just like standard Rocket League and it was fun it was a fun experience but I'm having sort of like tech tech issues in relation to that like the the frame rates are a little bit low at points and I don't want you guys to deal with that like at all so if but if you guys don't care if you want me to like highlight the thing which is the idea anyway and that's kind of what I was talking about earlier about you know I'll do highlights but not like Let's play some playthroughs and blah blah blah. I'll do that and whatnot. I don't care. But that's that's that. I'm sorry. I was trying to think of words to say, like, but also I was feeling the sweat on my back. It's really torturous feeling sweat, kind of like dribble down your back in the heat. It's not fun. I'm sorry, this is sounding very weird. Let's talk about Twitch quickly. This should hopefully not take 17 minutes of talking, which I felt like the YouTube stuff was. But, um... Twitch. Twitch. Twitch? Twitch. I'm, like, slowly losing my sanity. I, I get... I, I wouldn't say I, I, like, go insane in heat. Just, just kind of getting off topic here. I don't... I think I go insane in heat, but heat gets to me a lot because of stuff that happened to me earlier in life. And heat and I just don't get along. I really just like the cold. Uh, but anyway, Twitch. Um, there's only like a few things I want to talk about Twitch about. Uh, the only really big one that people will actually maybe slightly give a damn about is I changed my schedule around slightly. And hopefully... Hopefully, I'll do the other thing. God only knows with me, but... Basically, basically, uh, Monday and Friday are switched around. So Monday used to be a wild card, and Friday used to be game completes. Uh, to those who don't know how those days work. Um, to explain, uh, wild cards, it can be me playing with friends, it can be me, it can be me showing off a game, it can be me playing like a multiplayer game alone kind of thing, it can be any sort of thing. It's all very interesting and such. And Game Completes is more like the Let's Plays that you guys have seen on this channel. And I'll talk to you guys here, there, and everywhere. That kind of thing. So, that's how that goes. But, um, yeah, so I switched them around because my friend's schedules are a little bit easier on Fridays because they're more available and blah, blah, blah. And it just kind of makes sense, really. So, yeah, so... How it goes now, Saturday and Sunday are wild cards. My foot is asleep, so that's great. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are game completes. And then Friday is a wild card, and then the cycle begins anew. So there you go. This is going to... I'm going to... I have to deal with this for the rest of the video now, because my foot's asleep, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Can you stop? Anyway, the other thing is, I really need to, like, improve the stuff on Twitch, because it kind of looks like garbage, um, just with how the text under the, like, stream looks. I know some people don't look at that, and obviously some people don't look at descriptions in videos, but, um, at least with that, there's kind of a big deal with it, where I need to actually set up a bit of a... Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Blah. But yeah, um, I have stuff that I really need to update and such, and I and I want to update it soon. I'm just having troubles with that. 
this foot is really irritating, so this is why I'm having technical issues with trying to talk to you guys. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to try to update that before this gets uploaded. It'll probably never happen because I'm kind of a bit of a lazy piece of trash, as some people have kind of expected over the past couple months, but... And I'm sorry for that. Can you please stop, foot? Please just, like, not constantly inflict me pain. I don't want to start walking around the room either because it's just going to make me just start sweating. Alright. So, let's just stop talking about Twitch. You kind of get an idea of what's coming with with the YouTube, and I talked about it being my birthday the day this gets put up. But, um, let's talk about games. Let's talk about games that have come out over the past couple months, either being really big deals or not really big deals. I want to talk about them, because, as I said, games are a big deal to me. I'm pretty sure Ape said that in this video, or at some point, but yeah. Alright, so let's talk about a game that came out legit a week before my birthday, which is Overwatch. I, uh, I played it for a little bit on stream once. I, I would say I played it for about 10 hours in total on and off camera, maybe like an hour and a half on camera and stuff like that. Basically it's Blizzard's sort of TF2 kind of game. Instead of having nine classes that can do customized weapons and stuff like that, you have uh, over a dozen heroes and apparently they're going to be adding more as the game comes out, which is pretty nuts to see, you know, with everything. But it's, it's fun. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say that. I said it on stream. It's fun, however, however, it's not really a game that I would buy because the other games that are coming out matter to me a little bit more in general and people might get an idea of how I am as a person because of me talking about the games that are coming out. So there you go. It's not like dirty, it's just like stuff that I love playing compared to stuff like Overwatch. Like shooters to me, are very lo are lower priority and such when it comes to games that I want to play. Like I like playing RPGs. I love playing platformers. I love playing goddamn action adventure games. I've grown up with those genres my entire life. So yeah, shooters. I really don't give that much of a damn about in comparison. But that's how it is. So that's one. Anyway, Overwatch. It's, I think it's a fun game. I think it's. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be all right as the months come down. I don't know how they're gonna go with it. Really, I don't know what they're gonna do later in life with it. But yeah, I I think it's a fun game. I enjoyed my experiences with it, but it's not gonna be something I buy because uh, specifically the two games that are coming out either ten days from now or months from now. So there you go. Ten days from now comes the new Kirby game, which is specifically Planet Robobot. And that thing looks fun as balls. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm Kirby, the ever-lovable puffball. I get a mech suit. It's like, that's the kind of thing that I really, really like, to be honest. Because Triple Deluxe, which came out two years ago, was a crap ton of fun. And that's basically... And I, and I think Robobot is basically that and them some. And I'm really happy about it. Because I think it's going to be a crap ton of fun. Um, the new copy abilities look really cool. Apparently it's Doctor, Poison, and ESP. Which is really interesting. And I, I'm I'm just really excited. I, I love Kirby games. I'm going to be honest. I don't think you can really screw up Kirby as much as you can with other characters. I don't think there's even a Kirby game that I have played that I've really hated. So, yeah. That, that kind of gives you an idea. I honestly think that he's one of my favorite video game characters. Um, so, yeah. Robobot, 10 days, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a crap ton of fun. I I just want to play it. I, I want to buy it right now, and I want to play it. And actually, um, just quickly, bef just before I go on with stuff, uh, the new Amiibos 
for Kirby are really cool. I love what they did with the amiibos, where it's like Mario gives you like a special fire uh, Kirby kind of thing, and Metroid gives you like special beam, if I can remember that video from God only knows how many months ago correctly. I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be a really good goddamn thing. So I'm really looking forward to Robobot, because the new amiibos, they bring back UFO, and I've always loved UFO. I thought it was probably one of the best copy abilities ever made. And I think, and I think it was only in, like, one game, which is really upsetting. So, yeah. Um, is there a point to this? Shall I move on? I shall move on with uh, Sun and Moon, which was leaked earlier this month, if I remember. Well, not leaked. It's not even the right word. By leaked, I mean um, it was explained earlier. So... Yeah, Sun and Moon. I, um... I really like the new starters in Sun and Moon. What the heck happened? I don't even know. But anyway, Sun and Moon. I, um... I'm really looking forward to it. I think this is legit going to be the first Pokemon's generation that I buy when it comes out kind of deal. I've been playing them since, like, Ruby, but I've never actually gotten one when they came out, if I can remember correctly. So, to be honest, this is kind of a big deal to me as a person, because, similar to Kirby, I don't think you can really screw up Pokemon. You can say a lot of things about Pokemon, but every generation has always done good stuff, whether, whether it was story or Pokemon or characters or whatever. So, yeah. And, um, I, I love these starters. And I'm gonna talk about Rowlet really quickly. I know there's probably a lot of people out there who are, like, obsessed with the owl. I actually like him because of the fact that this is the first time, I think, since Generation 1, uh, that we're getting a dual-type starter right from the get-go. Uh, you know, it's like a basic. Because, if I remember correctly, it was Grass, Fire, Water... But uh, Generation 1 had Bulbasaur, who's grass poison. So it's kind of a big deal to me, as like um, someone who really loves Bulbasaur, that they're kind of doing dual typing right from the get-go again. Because I, I think it really kind of adds to it as a whole. So yeah, I, I like Rowlet because of that, because it just kind of feels like, you know, they're sort of spiritually bringing back Bulbasaur to a slight degree. I'm not going to play Rowlet, though. God, no. I'm not doing that. You can kind of piss off, because uh, I'm going to talk about the other two now. Because I'd rather have the uh, the water-type starter, which I'll talk about in a minute. But anyway, um, Litten, I think the name is, of the fire-type. It looks like it's going to end up being a fire-dark, which will be really interesting to see. Just because of its color scheme, which is basically fire and... Well, not fire. Red and black. And black can be can be associated with, like, dark types in Pokemon most cases. I mean, it's kind of a dick move to say that, but honestly, it feels like that. So, yeah. I'm actually really looking forward to, um... To just kind of seeing what it'll end up being. What it'll end up being, because I have no idea. My voice died again. I really need to drink something. For the fifth time today. But anyway... That's about Litten. Um, Poplio. This is something that I interestingly found out about myself after a while. But, um, I never really, like, hated water starters, like, at all. Like, even though they've maybe had some weird sort of evolutions or whatnot, I never really hated them. I think I've always actually really enjoyed the water starters in general. Because Squirtle, Totodile, Mudkip, Piplup... You know, Oshawott, Froki. I've always liked them, and I love their evolutions to a, to an extent. But, um... I never really hated Poplio at first, and now I just want to play Poplio, because I think it's adorable, and... I'm gonna be honest here, I said this on Twitter. God only knows how many weeks or... Yeah, it was, it was weeks ago. But, um, I'm gonna laugh so goddamn much if they make Rowlet look completely stupid. <laughs> and Papuyo looks amazing, because the thing, interestingly enough, is Rowlet is considered the most adorable, because it's like an owl, and it's sort of also kind of based on the meme 
of like an old cartoon. Um, I'll try to link what I mean in the description if I can actually remember that I said that. But um, yeah, I just kind of want people's hopes to get like really crushed. I, I know that sounds really dickish to say, but I don't care. <laughs> I just, I think it's kind of mean that they're always like being dicks to Papio. And Papio is probably just going to end up being like the one that looks relatively okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to laugh so goddamn much if that actually happens. I just don't care. <laughs> Alright, um... I I'm just looking forward to this new Pokemon, because I think what they've showed so far is really well done, and I want to play it, and I'm already really tortured mentally that it's coming out in November, which is like six months away, so... Yeah. But anyway, um, just quickly, just kind of finishing up with the legendaries. The lion that's supposed to represent sun is probably going to end up being a fire type, from the from me just guessing. And then the moon Pokemon, which looks like a bat, kind of thing. I think um, I I think honestly it's going to be like a dark flying, or like a psychic flying, or something like that. It could even be like a poison flying for all we know, but um, I think this is really like the first time where people are kind of going, what is this Pokemon going to end up as? Because who knows? But um, then again, you know, a lot of Pokemon can look like this, but their type is, you know, this. And yeah, and I'm kind of rambling again, but, and I'm sorry, but I don't know, I think it's going to be an interesting generation. Because it's just like, I can't figure out right from the get-go what the moon Pokemon's going to be. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's because it's a bat, it's going to be flying, of course. But it's just like that other type. It's got to be a dual type. But, um, yeah. I I'm looking forward to Sun and Moon, like, a lot. And, uh, looking and speaking of looking forward to things, I'm actually not looking forward to my birthday game-wise at all. Because, um... To those at all who remember Dead Island, it was considered to be probably one of the worst games ever done. Um, or just a really horribly bad game. And... It's uh, getting a definitive edition release on my birthday. So, that's fun. You know, it's just like, your birthday, and then... Here comes, like, I guess you could say a remake of what was considered a bad game to look forward to, game-wise. So, that's fun to deal with. It's, uh, it's not that great, honestly. And Riptide is also getting that defi definitive edition. So, that's even better. But, uh, interestingly enough... It's, um, I think they're actually doing it kind of nice, because if you actually previously owned the games, you get an 85% discount until, like, August, which is two months away. So it's like, people get, like, 60 days to go, do I want to spend $3? You know, if they've previously owned it, of course. Do I want to spend $3 on getting, like, a sort of, what is supposedly, you know, better done rendition of the game? So, yeah, I think I think that gives people a lot of time to just kind of figure out what they want to do. So, I'm looking forward to it, he says, no, no, not knowing why he said that. I just think it's kind of nice that they did that for people who previously owned the game. I know it's just like something you, you should do, but it's like for that long, that's really nice. Because you can even pre-order it right now kind of deal. And additionally, there's like this thing called like Dead Island Retro Rampage where you play as the character who I think is voiced by Jack Black for Dead Island 2, and you just, it's like a 16 style action beat em up sort of thing. It looks fun, and I'll probably buy the damn thing because it's like five bucks, but um, it, it looks like it's gonna be interesting. You know, just that. I, I really am gonna be upset about the definitive editions. I'm, I'm kind of like, panicking a little bit, because I think my friend's gonna actually buy them for me. And I'll feel bad if I, like, say no. So, that's cool. Anyway, 
Anyway, I'm rambling again, and I'm very sorry. But, let's finish this all off with, um, we're just kind of reviewing. So, today's my birthday. I'm turning 21. Don't really want to deal with alcohol. Um, I have stuff that I am going to put up on the channel. The Rocket League thing, I'm really 50-50 about. If you guys want to see highlights of it, if you don't care about the frame rates, then tell me. Okay? If you guys, you know, don't give a damn, then I'll obviously put it up in highlighted form. Don't only, God only knows when. Um, the Twitch stuff, Monday and Friday, were switched around. I'm gonna try to update the goddamn freaking like crap under the stream sort of deal if you can even call it that and make it look nice so yeah um sun and moon and playing a robobot i'm really looking forward to i think overwatch is really good but i'm really not gonna buy it i'm really not looking forward to definitive edition which is coming out today so there you go um i'm really sorry this is over half an hour but I had a lot to talk about, and I'm really happy that I got to talk about it with you guys. So, yeah. I'm going to see you guys later. I hope you have fun in the future. I hope you guys have good times. Peace out. Bye. That don't even work anymore. But, uh... Have a good day, guys. Because... I, I, I really want you guys to have a good day. I love you. Bye bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. This is such an awkward ending.